What's up guys? Welcome back to the Not So Very Challenge here in The Sims 3. And we just finished Roseanne's graduation in the last episode. And I just loaded back in and like both Martin and Roseanne are kind of making friends, which is a little bit unusual for both of them. Oh, I think their friends are like mother and son too. So Aya Tanner is kind of becoming friends with Martin Mint and she thinks he's being flirty, which is a first. Oh no, Roseanne's not getting along with her friend. Okay, so this is Jared Tanner. He just graduated too. So I figured like they might make good friends. Maybe not good friends, but I know that Roseanne has to do her master romance or aspiration so I figured I may as well get started with that but we have a lot to do and I was thinking like maybe we'll go to the casino to try and earn some more money and maybe kind of like celebrate the graduation and I also kind of want to get started on building a new house because the next house is not going to accommodate what we need it for Roseanne might have to have a friend over and Martin is actually becoming really good friends with Aya over here look at this this is a pretty high green bar and if we remember we actually have to get Martin like one more best friend right because we did Wesley Hendrix and that boy boring guy. The boring guy who likes fishing, so he was perfect for Martin. But yeah, it's not going so well with Roseanne. Jared sees that Roseanne is bored. Oh no. Okay, well it's not even 4pm, so why don't we just get this going? I was gonna say, did Martin bring the car? But of course he doesn't have a car. He likes to ride the bike because he's eco-friendly. We're actually not too far from the casino, so why don't we head there before we go home? We're gonna have Martin visit the casino, and we'll have Roseanne visit the casino as well. Since she's finally an adult, she's actually allowed to be gambling. But maybe we'll have Roseanne try and make a friend, like Master Romancer. We have to woohoo in five different places with five different sims. What I should do is add like a shower or a hot tub to the casino just so that we have like another place for like public woohoo because Lucky Palms is a base game world so I'm not sure like how many things there are around like the community lots. I figure I can still do the aspiration by going to different guys houses but I think it's a lot easier to do it this way. Okay I'll add a shower the next time I'm here. Maybe I should renovate the whole casino because I do have like the roulette table and everything from the Sims 3 store. Yeah can you believe it they charge you $19 for the casino and then they don't even give you everything for for it. Typical EA, right? Okay, let's just see what's going on here. Okay, nobody seems to be here because when you trigger the graduation ceremony, it makes a bunch of Sims all go to City Hall with you, which probably meant all the people here too. Okay, so looking back inside, oh my god, I love this blue. I keep forgetting how much I really love this build. This is definitely one of EA's best. I would say it's not worth $20, but maybe it is for me because I really enjoyed using it. Okay, I'm gonna have Martin go to the lucky slot machine where he won the jackpot the last time, and I'm just gonna have Roseanne kind of get a quick drink from the bar here. I'm gonna focus more on the slot machine machine, of course. Okay, so Martin is cheering away and like smashing the slot machine. Now that his gambling skill has gotten up, I've noticed like he kicks the slot machine and sometimes gets a little bit of money back. So I don't know if that's part of it or something. What's Roseanne doing? She's still in her graduation outfit. My goodness. It's like, okay, I just aged up. Now it's time to go to the casino. Very typical. And the only other person here so far is this unaccompanied child who's coming over to say hi to Roseanne. Oh my God, we just hit the jackpot. I just kind of like scrolled back over to see what was going on. And apparently this machine is still lucky. Okay, so Martin Mint is just the jackpot with 5,000 simoleons. I know it's a little cheaty, but you know what? At the end of the day, I'm going to need a bigger house anyway. And the not so berry challenge is not really a rags to riches challenge because like you do have to get certain aspirations done. You have to get certain skills done. And that stuff does kind of cost money too sometimes. So I don't feel too bad about it. And our gambling skill has increased to level six. I love how like having a gambling skill is not part of the challenge at all, but we're probably going to have 10 out of 10 by the time I'm done. Okay, so I just saw a bunch of minus signs. I came back over to the bar area here. We have Darren Dreamer's son over here. Okay, we have to make friends with him. I'm gonna have her gripe about children. See if he dislikes children too, because it's possible. I don't know any of this guy's traits. I know a lot of people like to do the get to know to try and figure out other Sims traits, but for me, sometimes it's better to do certain interactions. Like if you make a silly face, you can tell if they have a sense of humor. If you complain about kids, you'll know if they're more family oriented or if they dislike children too. See, he didn't hate that, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. He's still a teenager, so we'll have to wait for him to age up to kind of like, you know, do anything. But at the end of the day, it's always good to have like them kind of ready. So like if she makes a bunch of friends, then she can just like woohoo five people back to back if we want to. I also want to get her first woohoo done sooner rather than later because I want to use that to get her pregnant. I figure for the storyline, we're just going to have her like get pregnant and have a baby kind of by accident because she's only allowed to have one child and she doesn't like kids. And we kind of want Martin to raise the kid and he's going to be an elder in like a week. So if she can have a baby before he's an elder, then at least he'll be alive long enough to take care of the kid. Okay, I'm going to let him do one more spin and then we're going to cash out. Okay, come on. Let's see if it's lucky. Okay, well, it's not that lucky. Okay, I'm just going to give up. I'm going to cash out. This is something I would never do in real life, but I'm going to cash out and quit while I'm ahead. What is Sammy Claremont doing here? My goodness. Okay, I don't have time for this. Oh my god, it's like 8.30 p.m. It's already late. I know it doesn't seem that late, but it is kind of late for our sim. So we're going to get everybody home and we're going to try and get our needs maximized so that way we can make the most of tomorrow. See you in a bit. So here we are. It's the next morning and I was just checking on our simoleons. We have over 22,000 in household funds and it looks like our house is worth about 17. So if we can mine those 
together. That's like 40K. That's enough for a good build. But I was thinking for the next episode, like we'll dedicate it entirely to the build. And I want your advice. I kind of don't want to live in a little mid-century trailer anymore. And I was thinking we can either do like a Spanish Hacienda style house, or we can even add a houseboat lot to Lucky Palms. And we can live in a houseboat because Martin likes fishing and everything. So I thought that might be appropriate. And he's also almost done his gardening skills. So we won't really need much to garden. I'll just keep a few potted plants maybe on the roof. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm kind of leaning more towards the houseboat, but you let me know what you think. Okay, now that I'm going to pay attention to the game again, we have to get Martin showered and everything. He doesn't work today, but I was thinking of kind of making friends with that Ava woman, so that way we can get that over with. The house is also kind of a mess. I've been neglecting it. So this will be like our last full day in the house. I'm going to clean out the fridge. I'm going to scoop out the dead fish. And I don't think I'm going to keep any of the furniture. I think I'm just going to kind of like sell all the furniture and kind of get as much money as I can. Because like when I make the new house, I always like to kind of pick new things. That's part of the fun, right? Okay, so it looks like Roseanne is up and I just noticed that she's in this like baby poo tank top for her sleepwear. Maybe we should pop into create a sim soon. Oh, and I was wondering why they weren't doing anything. I think I have the free will turned off. Yeah, because when I do my speed builds and stuff, Destiny always gets up to no good. I did have free will turned off. Okay, well, this makes a lot more sense now that they're moving around. I used to like to play with the free will turned off when I was little so I could control everything. But now that I'm older, like I would just rather them go to the bathroom. Oh, good. He's feeding this fish. Unfortunately, he did not feed the jellyfish. So we're just going to scoop that out of there. Dispose of Kelly. Oh, I forgot we named her Kelly. Are jellyfish gendered or are they all the same gender or is it kind of like they're both? I don't really know much about jellyfish, to be honest. I know they can sting you. That's about it. And I don't like that. Oh, no, he scooped the jellyfish into the bathroom and Roseanne's taking a shower and now she's going to be pissed. Blue voila, go away. Oh, my God. OK, this is a mess. Martin, why don't you just go tend the garden? You can harvest the plants. You can kind of weed them a bit. Oh, I forgot we grew some watermelon. Yeah, because as you get your gardening skill higher, you can kind of grow different fruits and stuff. Oh, and I should mention, since the last time we played, I thought, like, what's some of the store content that I'm interested in exploring? And since someone was nice enough to give me the Grandpa Groves trailer, I decided to get like other kind of gardeny stuff. So I got this Bohemian garden thing and it gives you access to things like strawberries and blueberries, you know, fruit that should be in the base game, but isn't. What is she doing? She's like creeping around. Is she going to scare him? Oh my God, she is. I didn't even click this. <laughs> oh my God, I love this. Yeah, Roseanne's kind of mean like that. Oh, well, that's okay. Roseanne also needs to go to the bathroom and then she needs to go to City Hall because we're going to start her career today. So as we remember for the Not So Berry Challenge, the second generation is Rose and they have to become a politician. Politician's kind of a fun career, even in The Sims 4, quite frankly. So we'll have a lot of fun with that. Okay, and I also should, like, I want to get Roseanne a car, but we can't really afford it. Maybe I'll get her a sloppy jalopy if we have enough money when we make the house. Oh, I forgot that Lucky Palms has this, like, houseboat kind of area. So even though it's a base game world, they kind of set up a few lots here to look like docked houseboats. Maybe we should just live in one of those. I don't know. I think I'm going to add a barge and I think we're going to make a real one because I always like driving around the houseboat. Like I know it lags up a little bit, but like I would love to be able to kind of like pull out here. Oh, actually, this is kind of narrow. We'll have to see if this works. This should be wide enough to get a houseboat around. We'll have to see. OK, forget about that. So for Roseanne, I'm just going to join the political career at City Hall and then maybe I'll put down like a little bit of like a stylist lot, you know, the one from Ambitions that you can just get your sim made over in. Barney's salon and tattoo. I forgot. I already put it down. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe the game did. Sometimes the game will like automatically put down the lots in certain worlds. It doesn't work all the time, but it works some of the time. This is kind of a beautiful day. Sometimes I just like to kind of take the ride with my sims. I know I've mentioned this before, and if you've seen any video where I recommend mods, I always recommend the slower vehicles. That way the bikes are a lot slower and the cars are even slower because when you don't have the mod in, the cars kind of zip too quickly. Not only is it less fun for me, but it also kind of lags up my game when the cars are too fast because like if you speed into town and you haven't loaded any of these lots or any of these textures then it's just gonna chug along right okay well it's already chugging along a little bit so as we can see and Roseanne does not have time to wait for these cars she's just driving through them okay I'm just gonna go on speed three and see if I can get there a little bit quickly okay she's finally here and yeah looking at the overworld map doing the houseboat the houseboats are in a really good position like really central right so that'll be nice okay let's just read the political career thing the town needs strong leadership to enrich society and guide the course of citizenry. City Hall is currently looking for charismatic individuals who know how to schmooze the right sims for money, as well as manage upwards. That sounds perfect for Roseanne and quite frankly, perfect for me too. Let's accept the career. Okay, good. So now she has a career. Okay, so looking at her outfit, I definitely gave her this outfit. This is definitely something I would give to a Rose generation. I don't really remember, but like ripped jeans and a little bit of like a skanky top. I love it. Perfect for talking to gentlemen, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's just go to the salon place and then we're going to figure out the rest of her outfits. I guess I'll see you in Create a Sim. See you there. So here 
we are in the stylist create a sim and I accidentally clicked give like stylist makeover so it changed her everyday clothes. And I don't think it really suits her, but at the end of the day, for a politician, I was thinking ripped jeans and a tank top is probably not the best anyway. I want her to be kind of sexy and sophisticated, so let's just try this vest first. This vest is actually really cute. Let's just get it into a nice deep red. Ooh, I gave it some white stripes. I kind of like that too. I might keep the black collar though. I find I take these kind of challenges like too seriously. So like when I'm thinking like rose generation and red, like I'll do her head to toe in solid red. So I don't think that's the best idea. Let's just find some nice pants, like nice business pants. Like think like Susie Cher. I'm old, remember? Ooh, I found some pants with the same stripe. So how about I just go into create a style and like maybe we can steal the colors from the vest. Mm, it's looking a little too circus tent. Why don't I do the opposite? Why don't I do black pants maybe with red stripes? Okay, I don't think the stripes are going to work at all. You know what? I was playing around with some whites and this looks a little bit sailor, but not in a bad way. Sailor can kind of look kind of affluent if you do it right. I don't know if I did it right, but if I do kind of what I want and we do move into a houseboat, then this will be appropriate anyway. I am going to steal the red for the shoes though. That since she has like the red top, I think just like a red in her shoe will do perfectly. Maybe I should do her hair before I do the rest of the outfits. For her hair, I was thinking something a little bit longer, like long, but sophisticated. I'm going to try and find that hair that I like to use for Dina Goth. Speaking of Dina Goth, I'm also going to like kind of renovate the Calientes because EA finally got around to it, but I don't know how I feel about it. But don't knock it till you try it. So I figure I'm going to play with them for three minutes, hate it, then fix it. I don't have any custom content really. I have maybe like one or two hairs, but I mostly have store content stuff. Oh my God, what's this? Okay, this is a custom content hair and I absolutely do not like it for Roseanne. It's not, it's not really the vibe. I want something like a little bit more like styled and crisp, right? Like very straight hair. Ooh, I kind of like it as this hair, but unfortunately it kind of reminds me of Holly Altos. Like I don't really want to give it to Roseanne. What about bangs? We can give her bet. Ew, not those bangs. Ooh, I don't hate this, but I just don't like the highlights anymore. I know I gave her some blonde highlights, but maybe we should switch it up a little bit. Okay, so I changed like the roots and the highlights and stuff to like browns and black. So it looks a little bit better with the red. I just want to find a different style. And this is not it. Let's just keep looking. Maybe I'm better off looking in the hats because she always kind of had a headband like as she was growing up, even when she aged up automatically, like she always had something in her hair. So let's just find something that isn't ugly. Oh God, I'm in the supernatural ones. I don't want any of those. Like I'm in the hats, but I don't want a hat. I want like a little bow or something, right? Or a bun, like a bun might be powerful. Let's just put her in a bun because then I can have like long hair and like different outfits. Like I can have her hair down for like sleepwear and stuff. Okay, so, so far I only found ones with chopsticks in them. Ooh, how about these ones? Yes, this is more what I was going for. Okay, this looks a little bit more regal and sophisticated. And we're gonna have to change her eyebrows because her eyebrows are still like super thin and blonde. Okay, I gave her some thicker eyebrows. I'm not gonna change anything else. Maybe her earrings. I do not like the green earrings. For me, I like studded earrings, like diamonds. They don't have to be diamond, but you know, it's a preference. There we go. I'm just gonna give her little diamond studded earrings. Oh, I just noticed that her old outfit is still here. So we can still have that as a backup, but I do like our new one. It's a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more like ready for work. Stepping off your houseboat to go become a politician. I don't know. I think it gives that vibe. And that's not the easiest vibe to give. So let's just kind of quickly go through and fix everything else. Like I said, I don't need to fix like all of the outfits for a sim. I just like to fix them as I come across them. And we saw that sleepwear and I was not impressed. And since she's a romance sim, why don't we give her something a little bit more scandalous? The first thing I see is this into the future bra and I already like it. Honestly, the matching bottoms are pretty good. I usually skip the into the future stuff unless I'm in Lunar Lakes or something, but I do like this whole vibe. Okay, I think that's all I want to do in Create a Sim. This took a lot longer than I expected. So why don't we pop back into the game and we kind of figure out where we're going next. Okay, well, I'm back in the game and I just came across to find Martin fishing all on his own. So that's really nice because we didn't really work on anything with Martin. It it's only been a couple days of gameplay, but we've had a lot going on. I find like the days that they're off take me a lot longer because if they have to go to work or something, then I just leave them there and go on speed three. Oh, good. He completed some sort of want. I wasn't really paying attention, but that's fine. Okay, let's see. Oh, he also wants to catch 10 red herring and I know we've caught a few of them, so I may as well lock that in. And it looks like he's about to get another fishing skill point, which of course we need for the challenge. Where are we at? Oh, we're only at like level five. I guess it'll be level six soon. But like I said, if we get the houseboat, then Martin will have lots of time to fish and not as much time to garden. But we only have one more skill left to do that. And I think he also has to max handiness. We're already at eight out of ten. I don't think we're going to have any problems with this. Oh, my God. Martin just got a fame star. Getting noticed around town is not the easiest thing to do. But Martin Mint managed to grab a foothold to start him. Soon, people will know Martin Mint. With a persistent desire to get noticed, Martin will no longer be a nobody. Instead, he's just a fame leecher. But before I go into to a rant about jealousy, why don't we just end the episode here? Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for some more Sims content. Honestly, I know I said earlier to tell me if you want me to do the houseboat or not, but I've kind of already decided.
decided that I'm going to, especially after that create a sim outfit. So for that video, it might be marketed more as like a build tutorial video because I'm actually about to film my first build tutorial right now. And I was thinking, how can I do it for other videos too? And I was thinking we can do like a whole tutorial on how to put a houseboat into a base game Sims 3 world. You have to have Island Paradise installed, but you can actually put a houseboat in any world with water. And if the water is like big and wide enough, then you can actually drive your houseboat around and go to different parts of the world. You can set up a few different barges and kind of hop between the two if you want as well. But it looks like Martin's having a good time fishing, so maybe we should just let him finish. We'll see you in the next one.